What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, kebab games from tabletop to video games and today we are reviewing the first place meta deck, Vidramon. Now this Digimon deck is just insane. Just looked at it and I could tell off the bat it's very fast paced. The draw power are insane. It really can explode onto your board very very quick. And I actually really like it, the whole consistency of it. I thought it was definitely really well built. Now, this deck actually contains quite a bit of BT11 cards, and you could definitely tell that without BT11, this would not be possible. So before we begin, friendly reminder as always to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel and I do really appreciate it. So Digi Egg, we're actually playing four of this one that is from BT11 and has the ability when attacking, if you have a blue teamer in play, draw a card. Quite good. Now you're going to see quite a bit of draw power. So we have one Vmon. Now it's the BT2, which is your turn once per turn. If this Digimon becomes active during your main phase, draw a card. So lots of plus power. So one. Now this is the only thing I was kind of shocked that he's playing on one of this. But uh, this is the one that your opponent's turn. Your opponent can't reduce the Digivolution. But he is playing two uh modoki beta mon okay which is interesting and this is all turns your opponent can't gain memory except with tamer effects so if anything i would have put this at three instead but that's just nick pitting so he's playing four of the vmon from ex1 this is your turn once per turn when this digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase gain one memory so there's quite a bit of stuff and ways to unsuspend your digimon so having this as a digivolution is quite good and definitely needed in this deck okay now for the new vmon from bt11 okay on play reveal three cards from the top of your deck add one digimon card with vdramon in its name and one blue tamer card among them place the rest of the bottom of your deck very strong this is extremely good this is a crazy insane card and very surprised uh that they structured an effect like this because adding any blue tamer, not even like specific ones, that is just too good. And this could be applied in even armor rust as well. So it's a very good V mod. And also the inherent is quite good as well. Your turn once per turn when you play a blue tamer, gain one memory. So there's many ways to abuse this card. So that's why you're playing four of this as well. Now we're playing three Kumamon. Now we haven't seen Kumamon in a while. If you're not familiar, it's a hybrid, and when digivolving, you could trash one digivolution from the bottom of a opponent's Digimon. So he's playing three of that. Three Leomon from EX2. Now, this Leomon is very scary. So while you have a tamer in play, this Digimon gains blocker, and also it has the ability on deletion, gain two memory, and draw one card. So this could actually potentially pass turn very easily. So he's playing three of that. Then he's playing for Vidramon from BT11. Now, this Vidramon is your turn once per turn when you play a blue tamer, draw a card, so more draw power. Plus, it has the similar inherent ability as the new Vmon, which is when you play a blue tamer, gain one memory, so very fast pace. Now, three of the Aero Vidramon, I probably like mispronounced that, Aero Vidramon, okay. Sure, why not? So, three of this, okay, this is the structure deck eight. We're jamming. When you have eight or more cards in your hand, this Digimon gets security, so good inherent. Now we have four of the new one from BT11. Now, this is an interesting main effect, okay? So, once per turn, by suspending this Digimon, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add all blue tamer cards among them to your hand, place the remaining at the bottom of the deck. So very interesting. Like I said, there is ways to unsuspend your Digimon. So that's not really an issue. So you could potentially get free tamers. Okay, when attacking, activate one of your arenas. Okay, on play effects. So you're not activating a arena. You're not playing arena. Your arenas has an on play ability. So when you're attacking, you get to activate it. So we're going to get to that in a minute where arenas on play effect is. But this is very interesting. And then finally, we have the U-Force Vidramon, which is very good. So that he's playing four of, just to double check. Yep. So when Digivolving, you may play one blue tamer card from your hand without paying its memory cost. Quite good. Your turn, when you play a blue tamer, unsuspend this Digimon. 
Now that's not one split turn. So you could actually unsuspend, uh, unsuspend this Digimon quite a bit of time, okay? Then your turn, once per turn, when this Digimon becomes unsuspended, we turn one of your opponent's level 3 or lower Digimon to its owner's hand. Increase the maximum level of this effect for each blue tamer you have. So, this kind of reminds me of, what was it, the Gunslinger, the purple option that it deletes and then for every uh, 10 uh, cards you have in the trash, it does an additional level. So kind of reminds me of that so it starts with three so if you have one blue tamer already out that's already going for it as level four so it's going to be very easy to do level six or higher in this specific deck now we're going to go into the tamers so starting first we have two davis amazing card memory tamer and also on play you get to reveal three add one blue and one green digimon or is the bed now three now this is this I thought was kind of weird when I first saw that, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense a bit. So, main, if this Digimon contains, oh my, main, if you have a Digimon that contains Vidramon in its name, by resting this Digimon, activate one of the effects below. You could draw a card or one of your Digimon gains 1000 DP till the end of the turn. So, like I said, there's a lot of draw power in this deck, so you're definitely are able to abuse the draw power over there and also let me just read uh you have a digimon that contains vidramon its name by resting yeah okay so you're going to suspend it okay so if you have multiple of this it's very easy to actually draw three cards for free one tommy if you're not familiar with tommy on play trust the top uh the bottom three digivolution card of one of your opponent's digimon yeah, Tommy's that one, and that's why we don't really see blue hybrids as much. It still has the inherent arrow of uh, when attacking one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards, can attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn. So, quite good with that. Okay, two Jerry's. Okay, Jerry's really good, especially with the Leomon on play. You may play a Leomon for free. Opponent's turn, when your opponent's Digimon attacks, you can suspend this Tamer to draw a card. So, extra draw power as well. So, playing two Jerry's. Okay, then we have Matt and Sora, okay? Start of your main phase if you have eight or more cards in hand, gain one. And if your opponent has eight or more cards in hand, gain one memory. So definitely you could gain one memory from the amount of cards in your hand because we could clearly see there's so much draw power in this deck. So it's very easy to gain that one memory and also depending what your opponent is playing, they could easily have eight or more cards in their hand as well. So they're playing two of this and it also has the ability your turn when one of your blue or red Digimon becomes unsuspended, you may suspend this Tamer to return one of your opponent's level three Digimon to the owner's hand. Pretty interesting. All right, finally, four Renas. Now the on play is one of your Digimon with Vmon or Vidramon in its name gains Blocker and Evade until the end of your opponent's turn. Okay, so first off, Evade. So it's pretty new, BT11 or BT10, not really too sure. But Evade is very simple. If your Digimon would be deleted, you suspend it for it to be safe. Okay, now this doesn't really work with any dp reduction so if something puts it to zero you can still use the ability to save it but it's still going to die because the dp is at zero so that's one thing to actually consider but also another thing as well is that if the digimon's already suspended you cannot use evade so it's usually good for a digimon that's not suspended so it gives blocker and evade but we already seen that there's ways to unsuspend the digimon so it's not the end of the world for that but yeah, so with the Arrow Vidromon, you could activate this ability again when you declare an attack. Now the next ability is Alter, when one of your Digimon with Vidromon in its name becomes suspended by suspending this Tamer, activate one of that Digimon when Digivolving effects. So we've seen mostly the U uh, Force Vmon having the main good Digivolution effect. So I'm guessing you could use this suspended so you could actually reuse that effect of u force Vmon, which is still pretty good to be honest and then finally your turn once per turn when one of your blue digimon suspended unsuspend gain one memory 
So we have quite a bit of cards that gains uh that allows us to gain memory. So it's easier to actually start spamming even more Vmon or even hybrid. So quite good. Okay, now two memory boosts. Now if you're not familiar with memory boost, we fill the top four cards of your deck, add one blue, put the rest at the bottom of your deck, and also you could send it and gain two memory, but you can't do it on the same turn that you activate like the main effect. So it has to be follow up usually. And then finally, we have one Ice Wall, which is definitely a really good stun. So main, all of your opponent's Digimon gains when attacking, lose two memories until the end of your opponent's next turn. And that's it for our Vidramon meta deck. So I definitely really do enjoy this deck a lot. I thought it was very interesting. I thought the whole structure of it, it was fully consistent. You know what? I do kind of want to test it out a bit. I do have like other ideas that I'm planning to build. So at the moment, I won't be playtesting so much with this specific deck. But I am definitely looking forward to try something similar to it. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek at future products we're planning to review here on the channel, you can always follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.